Rocky Show with Hal Rundick. Hey everybody, did you watch all the new movie trailers this weekend? They were peppered throughout that big football thing that people were watching. I hope you got your fill of Spock, The Rock, Zombies That Flock, all while watching jocks in your undies and socks. I'm taking a poetry class at the Learning Annex. Let's go through those trailers and rate them on a scale from very good to Oz the Great and Powerful. First up, we have the trailer for Star Trek Into Darkness. Shall we begin? Speaking of Treks Into Darkness, how about that 34 minute blackout? Even Janet Jackson's nipple was embarrassed for you in New Orleans. This seems like a great warm up for J.J. Abrams' real movie, Star Wars. Yeah, I said it. But I do like that the guy with the best name in the business is in the movie, Benedict Cumberbatch. Because of that, I'm giving this trailer two Vulcan salutes. I can't do it good. Get back to your car right now! World War Z. This was Brad Pitt's best work since his perfume commercial. But you know what? This trailer actually looks pretty awesome. What is this? What? The trailer's nothing like the book. The trailer sucks. Seriously, guys, get it together. It's like if I just took the name Catcher in the Rye and made a movie, but instead of having Holden Caulfield, you replace him with a bunch of bullshit. I give this movie two severed zombie thumbs down. Now let's look at Disney's newest ride, I mean movie, the Lone Ranger. Let's see, a weirdo Johnny Depp, Helena Bonham Carter, obviously directed by Gore Verbinski. Does Tim Burton know about this? Guys, be careful. Otherwise, Burton might get revenge by writing a new film about a misfit whose friends went off and played without him. I give the Lone Ranger one unflattering racial stereotype. And then there was Fast and Furious 6, starring The Rock and Bizarro The Rock. Seriously though, Vin Diesel is kind of like the sucky The Rock, right? Let's say there are elements, okay? The Rock is gold. Vin Diesel is like a piece of shit. The Rock's also in this movie Snitch, and he's in this cool movie about milk. Is it too soon to call it the year of The Rock? The Fast and Furious trailer looks pretty badass, and I give The Rock infinite rocks! They told me they were gonna CG a bunch of rocks right now. Iron Man 3. How many in the air, Jarvis? 13, sir. Uh, way too short. What happens in this movie? Where's Pepper Potts? Is Gwyneth back or is she hanging out with Coldplay? Does Thor show up? What about this guy? Is he gonna be around? America wants to know. Is Hawkeye gonna be there? Damn it, you guys! I give Iron Man two shawarmas. Just needed to see more. Identity Thief also aired a trailer during the Super Bowl. I was pretty intrigued by it. So I sat down with the film stars to do some weird stuff. So guys, I was hoping today we could assume identities of like people who are really in the public eye right now. Sure. Manti Teo and his fake girlfriend. Uh, hi, I'm so, responsible for the biggest non-story ever was. I don't exist. I, I don't exist. But you sounded so pretty on the phone. Where have you been all this time? Why haven't you supported him during this difficult time? Ah. That exist. makes total sense. <laughs> People are saying you you were actually a dude. That could be true. <laughs> Wait, now I hear it. Osama bin Laden and Jessica Chastain. She's so pretty. She's incredibly. She's absolute. just she's magical. So you're incredibly so, pretty. I, could I keep this on afterwards? Yes, And put absolutely. it on with the string. Osama was zero dark thirty accurate. Yeah, I'm dead as <laughs> shit. <laughs> Osama. Oh, <laughs> that's that's the scene in Zero Dark Thirty we were waiting for. Yeah. Osama, there's uh, some More. famous pictures of uh, you watching TV in your compound. What were your shows? SpongeBob. So was it Silver Spoons <laughs> and Hogan's Life? That's Hogan's, Hogan's family. family. You dumb redheaded cow. You found Bin Laden. You yes. solved the greatest mystery. Yes. Can you solve the mystery of what Tree of Life was about? No one knows. Thank no you. No one knows. I want to see that one. Great. That was awesome, you guys. My thanks to the cast. Check that movie out. Melissa McCarthy, she's a boss. Back to the Super Bowl. What about Beyonce's halftime show? I think she held her business like a boss. What would the most epic halftime show ever be, though? Tell us in the comments below. Best answer? Gets a Screen Junkies t-shirt. Then you're gonna be walking around looking like a boss. That's all we got. I'm Hal Rudnick. Bye-bye.